There is no turning back on the deteriorated relations between the State Capture Commission and former President Jacob Zuma. An urgent application at the Constitutional Court by the Commission saw justices questioning if the inquiry still had hopes of Zuma testifying. It seems to me that you as the Commission, uh, uh, when I read, read your papers and, and your argument in it, that uh, you've abandoned all hope of getting Mr. Go Mr. Zuma to the Commission. Uh, is that correct? So you exclude coercion altogether? Senior counsel advocate Tembegan Tobi said the commission had thrown in the towel in getting Zuma to come back to testify and was now seeking a two-year jail term. It's quite clear that we are excluding uh, coercion. The, the difficulty, well, the short answer to the question is yes, we do not ask for his appearance. We ask for his punishment. What we say is that you should take into account in the decision as to the appropriate punishment, that the impact of Mr. Zuma has been a deliberate and a cynical maneuver to avoid accounting. So that's the approach that we take on the matter. Advocate Ngugai Tobi argued that the former president had embarked on an unfounded political campaign against the Corn Court and judges in the lower courts. There is no one who is entitled to say that the judges have abandoned their green robes. No one is entitled to say that the, some judges have received money from Mr. Ramaphosa. No one is entitled to say that the Constitutional Court has become a threat to democracy. No one is entitled to say that the judgment of the Constitutional Court mimics the posture that has been adopted by the Commission, which is designed um, to make unfair judgments against Mr. Zuma. That is not criticism. That is not a debate. Those are plain insults. They are false. They are unfounded. They cannot be justified. Mr. Zuma is not even here to complain about his freedom of speech. He is quite happy that he has made his remarks because they fall in the category of political campaigns. So we are all entitled to say the judges are wrong. We say that all the time when we come on appeal before this court. But we are never entitled to embark on ad hominem attacks against people that are doing their job honestly, diligently, to the best of their knowledge. And if this is not stopped, there will be discredit to the court and there will be discredit to the institution of the judiciary. So this is not a case about freedom of speech. This is a case about a deliberate campaign to discredit the court. And it must be seen as such, period. Judgment was reserved. Former President Jacob Zuma may be facing a two-year jail term if the Corn Court grants the State Capital Commission of Inquiry an urgent court application for his incarceration. The Commission's senior counsel, Advocate Tembega Ngugai Tobi, says the Commission has given up on all hope that former President Jacob Zuma will ever come back again to the State Capital Commission to give any evidence or to testify. Samke Masego, SABC News, Johannesburg.